What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Very excited for today's episode. I do believe it is episode 91, if I'm not mistaken, which is very exciting news. Slowly approaching episode 100, which should be great and epic. It's so nice to get back to regular scheduled surgery videos, man. Because, you know, for a long time, the, the office was a wreck. Didn't have any time to set it up, get it going every day, getting to slowly knock it out. When before, it was like I would get like 20 minutes a day to kind of like sort through. And I really had no direction, but now that we got the direction, I'm slowly flowing and going, and it feels really, really good to get it going with the surgery videos, because I can actually find my collection now. I can see figures, and I can adjust and get my creative juices flowing, which is always nice. So, hey man, we're back at it. Episode 91. Let's go ahead and dive into it. We always start out with the guy on the stretcher. We got a lot of stuff featured here today. Really excited. And we even have a few figures off screen that didn't fit right here, so that's also awesome. Nonetheless, man, let's start things off with our stretcher, and we do have the Supreme Edition CM Punk, which is a lot of people's favorite figure, I think, this year. Definitely one of the better AEW figures of the year, no doubt. Maybe even number one, but one thing I've noticed is once you push the head all the way on, look how loose it is, man. What is up with that? Like, if it's up a little, it's fine, but then when you push it all the way down, it's just a little bit of a, a bobblehead, but I guess, I mean, it stays on. It's not like it falls off, but I would really like that to be secure. May have to pop something in there, but we do have the Supreme Edition CM Punk, and I can't remember who I saw do this. However, I was really inspired by this, so you guys know that he does feature the camo gear right here, and that's actually one of my favorite punk gears that he's ever done. I'm going to take the All-Stars punk, and we're going to be head swapping these, man. I think that this is going to look okay. One thing that I am worried about, though, is you guys can see the heights. I'm afraid that when I put this head over here, this guy's going to be like a damn Jax figure, and then this guy over here, I don't know, it may work. We're, we're going to have to find out, but I really like the All-Stars punk. I love this head sculpt right here, the long hair. I actually prefer punk with long hair, and so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I am going to do a head swap right here. Just see what comes of it. I think it'll look okay. I know we're kind of mixing a little bit of errors and whatnot, but I still want to do it and just see exactly what it looks like. So I was inspired by that. I can't, again, I can't remember who I saw post that, but I thought it looked nice and I wanted to try it for myself. Next up, we do have AJ Styles right here in our wheelchair. I guess, I feel like we get the other two guys last usually, but I guess we're going to pick him up right here. I'm going to be adding some cloth goods to him that I think, I don't want to show you guys it, but I want to, I want to add some cloth goods to him and I want, I want that to kind of be a surprise. So you guys can see that in a minute, but we're going to put some cloth goods on this AJ Styles figure. I think you guys are going to be hyped about that. You can let me know at the end. End. It's actually going to be using some cloth goods that we got a long time ago, so I think it's going to be epic. Alright man, next up we do have our Jeff Hardy right here. Now, I have a lot of this figure, and this is actually, I don't know, probably a top 25 elite of mine of all time, maybe. I don't know. I, that, that If you guys want to see that, maybe a top 10 or top 25 favorite Mattel WWE elites of all time. That would actually be a, a really interesting video. That would take me a very long time to get my thoughts together on. But we do have the SmackDown 2-pack Elite Jeff Hardy. We're going to be fixing him up. We're going to be adding some cloth goods and making a different era Jeff Hardy using this ultimate head sculpt. I think it's going to look really, really clean. So I'm excited about this fix up. Has anybody, this is like kind of a random topic, but has anybody been toy hunting the last two days? Brother, when I tell you, I have been, I've went to Target ever since Monday. So every single day I've hit Target and Walmart, the shelves are completely empty. I'm just just kind of waiting on that restock, but it hasn't happened yet, so every time I go, it's just completely bare bones, which I under, it makes sense. I just wanted to go and just see what was cooking up. Nothing's cooking, son. We're starving out here. Next up, we do have the Johnny Gargano Elite 105. Now, I love Johnny Gargano. Yeah, okay, look, this is another spill right here, man. How come I see, like, mine didn't have Johnny Gargano Syndrome, and then every single person that I see that has this figure has Johnny Gargano Syndrome. The ones I find at retail have Johnny Gargano Syndrome. What's up with that, man? Did they just specially order my they're like, we got to get this guy, the one without Johnny Gargano syndrome. I don't know. That, that's just what I've noticed. It, it, let me know down in the comment section below. Does yours have the kick pads or does yours have Johnny Gargano syndrome? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Nonetheless, we're getting rid of the Hero Figs head sculpt. Now, I like Hero Figs. Don't get me wrong, but I don't want my Johnny Gargano to look like him. Handsome guy, you know, whatever. I want it to look like Johnny Gargano, so we're going to be head swapping it with this basic. That's the whole reason I got the basic. So we are going to be putting the Elite 105 head sculpt on this basic, and then I guess Hero Figs will be chilling in the MDT crowd from now on. Next up, guys, we also are going to be doing a head swap on the, this one I'm actually really excited about, and it's going to be, like, this Austin Theory head sculpt over here on this basic, one of the better basic head sculpts of the year, and my Walmart recently got a stock of these, and I almost bought, bought them all, but I'm not really a big Theory guy, so I just bought one of them to put onto this Elite. It's going to look immaculate. I already know it's going to look great. You guys know I like a good start, and I already hated these head sculpts featured on this Austin Theory. Never found the Chase Austin Theory Elite, by the way, but this is going to be a nice fix-up as well. Should look really, really clean. Next 
Next up, we have our Elite 16 CM Punk. We're gonna be fixing this guy up with a Supreme Head Sculpt. So we're gonna be putting, I don't know if I wanna put the yelling one on here or the smiling one. I don't really wanna use one of the modern like straight face punks. I kinda like the bangs and whatnot. I don't know, it just kinda fits for me. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll play that by ear, we'll kinda see that. But we do have Head Swap City coming in today, but we do have some other things as well, don't get me wrong. But next up, we have our Dominic Mysterio. And a lot of people were wondering what I did to fix up this Dom and I'm actually really happy with the way this turned out. So different couple methods right here, man. I did put one of the, I think it's the Unrivaled Series 2 Hangman Page bandana. Remove the head, put that on there. You can see Adam Page a little bit right there, but there's a skull on it. It looks like a black bandana. The shirt collar kind of covers it anyway, so that really worked. I used the Amazon 3-pack Brock Lesnar. I had an extra one of these flannel shirts. Put that on there. You could use the Daniel Bryan one or the, not the, the Daniel Bryan one, the Roddy Piper one from They Live. You could use that one, cut the sleeves off, would actually, actually also work. I think, but I like the color tones of this one. And while I really don't want to use this on a Dominic Mysterio, because I think that this could fit other people that I think would have priority over Dom, I still really like the way this looks. Put some sunglasses on there with the bandana and the shirt, and then I took the bandana from the Walmart exclusive Eddie Kingston and put it on his head. So that's what we have cooking right here. Now, I know I've already done this, but today we're going to be switching his boots. Now, there's two different options we have for his boot swap that I want to get into. And so the first one, you guys know he's been wearing white boots. So uh, the first one I was thinking is this Owen Hart figure, the Unmatched Series 6. Like, these boots look incredibly like the, the boots that Dominic Mysterio wears, but he has kind of, that was kind of like back at Mania, kind of. Now, he's more rocking like more of like Cody Rhodes looking style boots, and so I do have some Supreme Edition Cody Rhodes boots over here, but my worry is that it's going to make him too short, and I will have to remove the logos, but today, we're just going to remove these kick pads, and we're going to pop these options in there, and just kind of see how his height looks, and just kind of play that by ear. We'll kind of you know, we'll, we'll look at it, we'll see if we like it, and then we'll run it back if we don't like it, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll kind of just play around with that. So we are, we're going to do a boot swap right here on Dom, trying to update him, bring him to life, and uh, we got Prison Dom right here. Let me know what you think of the fix up down in the comment section below. Next up, we do have our ringside exclusive CM Punk here, and we have some Kenny Omega Supreme legs. Now, we are going to be making a jeans fix up CM Punk right here. Now, one thing that I really, I don't know, man, it's really hard of a struggle. I, I, I probably should have just cashed in and went all in on this CM Punk on the ringside sale and just bought as many as possible because I'd like to have a lot of the because this could be like skinny jean legs or joggers right here these legs right here work for a lot of guys in promo gear and I'd, ri I'd really like to see a Finn Balor in this gear and you could mix and match it with the Supreme Kenny Omega and put him in black jeans you could like dry brush some stuff on here there's just a lot of options you can do there and I love how articulated these legs are and what the looks look like oh man I don't I just don't know but I do know that I'm gonna make a CM Punk in jeans that's definitely what we're gonna be doing today for sure. It's just, man, there's just, I just wish I had multiple copies to make so many different guys in promo gears. But last but not least, we do have, now this is kind of dumb because we do have the rest of Elite 107 coming. And when we get to My Damn Thoughts, we're going to have to like, I guess, convert this guy back to his original form. But today, I don't think I have an answer for his legs right now, but we are going to be head swapping this guy. I'm going to take this jacket off. I'm going to put this Palm Angel shirt on here just to see what it looks like. I just hate how short this guy is. And I'm actually working on a different formula to give me a Finn Balor with like just bet like better formula man I want a better formula for Finn Balor in the promo gear that go kind of goes along with the CM Punk like making a Jazzwares version would be fine I just want a nice promo Finn Balor so we'll I don't know we'll we'll see about that you know we do have the unmatched series 8 Alistair or Malachi Black coming soon I want to make a suited Finn Balor so I don't know man we're gonna play it all by ear. we're gonna do it all but that's just I'm trying to get all my thoughts out there but nonetheless man that is everything we got for surgery let's find out what the hell we got today let's shut the hell up and dive into the surgery that we're gonna conduct all right fellas here we go let's get things started I don't know. That just reminded me of like the Black Eyed Peas. And then I thought of the altered version of the song. And just how ridiculous that is. I don't know. I just, good lord. All right, man, so I guess, like, I mean, I don't know, like, standard head swap, you know? Like, uh, I guess, like, things that are really just interchangeable, I guess we can just start things off. Get rid of this god awful. I mean, let's just take a minute to look at this. He looks like he's in pain, man. Just, I hate this. This is just dreadful. Wow, that's much better. Then we have this one. Look at that handsome fella right there. Look, they even got the line up in there. That's fire. We're going to put this on here, and then what are you going to do? Oh, holy crap. That, I've been looking for that Austin Theory basic for a month. Of course, by month, I mean six. And of course, by six, I mean three. Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, I guess this, this goon head is going to go in the crowd now, which is just another... Look at this. <laughs> 
Just look at it, man. Kevin Owens comes out. Oh my god, that is just hilarious. We do have our AJ Styles right here. Now, this is a figure that, uh, I don't know if anybody, you're a long-time member if you remember this hoodie right here, man. We got this hoodie forever ago, and I mean forever ago. And now, it used to have to go on those bummy AJ Styles figures, but not anymore, Brad, because we finally got the Sin Cara torso, and then AJ Styles says, you know what, Brad, I'm gonna go get in the gym and make them respect my Sin Cara torso. And I hope they keep the Sin Cara torso, and they just give him a little bit bigger arms and thighs. And I, <laughs> God, I'm a afraid they're going to give him the damn Drew McIntyre torso next. If that happens, bro, I'm going to vomit into the city. But this looks pretty good. Look at that right there. No, you can't look at it. You got to look at it at the end. You know the rules. Man, looks like he's about to give somebody a damn 3D. Oh my god. I need to use the restroom. No time. We got patients that need to be operated on. Next, we have our CM Punk. Again, we're doing all the things that are kind of like, you know, just flow. They're not super crazy. Now, these legs, again, man, I I'm going to find a, a way to use these legs, but until then, and I'd like to do a shoe swap or paint these, like make them custom, because I don't like just black and white sneakers. What are we, we shopping at Rack Room Shoes? What is this, shoe carnival? I don't even know if y'all have a shoe carnival. But we're gonna make these into something cool, because these look, he looks like he's about to, like holy hell, I don't know. He looks like he's about to, you know what he looks like? He looks like he's about to go bust smoking behind the gymnasium Dean Ambrose and catch him skipping class, because he's the damn principal of a school. That's what those shoes look like. But now we can put the CM Punk here, and boom, there we go. We'll look at him at the end. Oh my gracious, I need to use the restroom. Alright, I think the rest rest of our shish may need heat? Uh, maybe not. Last one is going to be Finn Balor, Elite 107. You know, I love Finn Balor. Again, one of my favorite wrestlers in the, on the planet, but this figure could have been so much better. If you guys missed the review, definitely go check it out. We go in depth on the Finn Balor figure lore. It's near 20 minute review, man. Throw it on while you're cleaning your collection, you're fixing up your collection or whatever, man. Also, another thing is if you guys, like when you watch a video, do you always just sit down and watch it or will you just play it in the background sometimes? Is that something you do? You throw it on and like, I don't know, customize or fix up, do your own surgery. Like what, what do you guys do? Let me know down below. But I really like this figure in certain ways, but some ways I just want to throw it the hell out in the yard. But we're going to pop this head sculpt off, put this over here, um, put that right there. Literally, if the legs were longer or a little thicker and we had a new shoe mold, this figure would be elite. But we have my custom BW head sculpt right here. We're going to pop this off and throw it over there on the Elite 107. Oh my God, hold up. I don't want to snap this. And I'm pretty sure it's interchangeable. Yeah, it's interchangeable. So that's good. All right, we're going to put this right here onto the Elite 107. Kind of gives him a better neck, too, for whatever reason. So we're going to lay that there. We're going to take this shirt off and put it onto the Elite 107. Then I'm going to have this custom hoodie, I guess, that we can use for a rainy day. I'm definitely going to be putting that on somebody. All right, got the shirt off there. Now putting, I mean, I guess, so now this just becomes regular Elite 82 Finn Balor, and he can go chill somewhere until we need him again one day. Now we have to put this shirt onto this fin, and that's going to look pretty damn good, I think. I'm not going to show it here. You guys will see it at the end. All right, man, next up, we do have our Jeff Hardy. Now, before we fix up this Jeff Hardy, speaking of which, man, I really, God, I want a Supreme Edition Jeff Hardy, or a, I just want a Jazzwares Jeff Hardy. Specifically Supreme, I would love to see a Supreme Jeff Hardy. I think it would be fantastic. Can you imagine giving us, like, two or three shirt options with the black pants? I think that would be so cool with, like, a screaming head and all that different stuff. Stuff, man. Different shirts. Like, God, what a great figure that would be. But we do have Sting going first. Do want to take the shirt off. Don't want to get any harm there. This is before the shirts were removable. Or not the shirts were removable, but before the head sculpts were removable. So we are going to have to heat up this Jeff Hardy right here. I am worried about the necklace, but hopefully. And I think this is one of the small peg Jeff Hardy figures, so that's going to suck eggs. Oh, man. But we're also going to heat up this CM Punk head sculpt, because we need both of these to be off of their respective figures. On the other CM Punk, on the Supreme, of course it is removable, so that's not a big deal. And the same thing with the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy head sculpt. So don't need to do that. I guess since we're doing kind of a four-party head swap, we can go ahead and take the shirt off of our Elite 16 CM Punk right here. Oh man, I can't wait to see the Ultimate of this re-release. Holy crap. Also, I think Sandman signed a Legends deal, among other people. But I heard it about a month ago that maybe Sandman signed a Legends deal. And I think he just was added to WWE Supercard, like the, you know, that, that app. You know, like the game app or whatever the hell it's called. And so... So, uh, that means he did sign a Legends deal. So, that means we're probably going to get him in an Elite. That's amazing. I love Sandman. One of my favorites ever. In ECW, that is. Now, we 
do have the Elite 105 Johnny Gargano. Now again, you can just pop this off so we don't have to worry about that. But this basic jo Johnny Gargano does not have that feature, unfortunately. So we are going to have to heat that up. So we do have four person head swap right there. So we're going to just put our figures off to the side and we are going to heat this up with a white trusty hair dryer and then we will do the head swaps. All right, man, here we go. White trusty hair dryer hasn't been replaced yet. He saw the trusty knife and he said, uh, better get my ass back to work. But here we go, man. Uh, it's really scary because two of these are old AF figures that I do not want to break. And then another one has a really small peg hole in the head. And then this basic, I don't give a damn if it's snapped in 77 pieces as long as I can get the peg out of the neck. So uh, a jack of all trades, a real Hunger Games situation going on. Let's go ahead and hit it. Honestly, you know, in all my years of doing this, I gotta be real, the hot water is definitely better because it allows for you to, and there's one head sculpt, got the Johnny Gargano one on there. You also want to be careful not to tear the damn ear because you can do that, but one thing is, is water, like boiling water or hot water works better because it does uh, allow you, we'll look at him at the end. A little bit of a slipperation there. I don't want to use the other word. And so it does help. It does help get the head sculpts off, but, you know, this is more convenient. So we're just going to roll with this. All right, see about this All-Stars Punk. This isn't even the All-Stars Punk head sculpt. This is actually, or is it? No, I don't think it is, Brad. Pretty sure that's from a basic or something, and I head swapped that years ago. Or so. Yeah, that's not the All-Stars Punk head sculpt. The All-Stars Punk head sculpt, I want to say, was like the Elite One head sculpt, but we'll look at that punk in just a moment. Then we're going to put this on here, and I do not have hopes for this. Jesus Christ, may have to switch out that neck peg. I don't think that's going to take place much. My God in heaven, Lord above Betsy. He's got a giraffe neck. Damn it. All right, well, the All-Stars Punk is going to be headless for now. We'll figure something out. Or actually, should I just put this head sculpt on there? You know what? We might actually do that. Let's see. Let's pop this off. Oh, that actually popped off really easy. Wow. Uh, let's put this on there. Yeah, now, now all I need is that shirt. And I may have that shirt somewhere. We can make a pipe bomb. We'll leave that on there. That's not half bad right there. You know what? Been wanting to switch it around a little bit. So we'll see about that. And then uh, the Screaming Head Sculpt. I want to put that on this Elite 16. Now this actually... I may have to mod these head sculpts, bro. This may not be a thing that works. May have to like get in the lab and drill out the head sculpt and whatnot. Yeah, they're all giraffe necks, man. God. I'm going to have to mod the heads. <sighs> what a bummer. Well, that sucks eggs. We'll figure that out. But the Jeff Hardy figure... All right, I'm going to have to take this over here because... Oh, it actually doesn't have the small head peg. So that's good. That's terrific. I like this head sculpt. Very nostalgic. Gargano. This needs going here. Perfect. All righty. Ultimate Edition head going on this Elite here. Money. That actually looks pretty damn good right there. Actually kind of shocking. And then we'll put the shirt on there and I'll showcase that at the end. But the last thing we got to do is our Dominic Mysterio. Now, honestly kind of afraid. I don't know how well that's going to go. And I'm afraid it's going to make him too short. But we won't know unless we try it anyway. Right, Brad? You got to risk it to get the biscuit here on action figure surgery. So with that being said, let's get these head sculpts out of here. Lots of runneth over today. But we are going to have to heat up the Dominic Mysterio boots and... I guess both of these boots. We'll just heat up both of them. And then we will find out which ones work better and live with that. And I guess if all of them suck, well, <laughs> uh, I'll figure something else out. But we do have to heat up these boots. So let's shut the hell up and get into it. All right, Brad, let's see what we got going on here, man. Hopefully we can make things happen. And popping off the... Wow, that actually pops off really good. God in heaven. They were like, I'm getting the hell out of here, Brad. So we got those boots on there. Those aren't half bad, but I think I'd rather use the Cody ones, if I'm being honest. But, all right, got that off. Again, we are going to have to acetone. I don't have the acetone. I think I actually ran out of acetone the last time I used it. And so I was making a custom Christmas gift for my son. And so I think I ran out last time I used that. So we'll have to check on that. But popping off this right here putting this uh dominic mysterio kick pad over there and now i guess let's start off with the cody ones and then i guess if they fail if they fail then we'll know already it feels like they want to go on it's like they kind of want to go on but i can't force it all the way on there hold up i think if i shorten the peg a little bit it would go on there possibly but uh, yeah i think i gotta shorten the peg a little bit but just kind of chilling right there that doesn't look half bad uh, I do need to look at his height, though. How does he compare in height to, like, Austin Theory? Hold up. 
Dominic can't effing stand up because he's so damn flimsy because he's hot. Here's Theory, and then here's Dom. I can't get him to stand up because, he, again, he's so damn... I do like the way these boots look, though. Hold up. I mean, they're a, they're almost the same height, but you gotta think, once those boots slide up in there more, he's gonna be a little bit shorter, potentially. God, why will you not stand up, you dumb SOB? Uh -huh. So Dominic Mysterio is 6'1", and Austin Theory is 6'1", so, I mean, I don't know, man. I think, it, I think it's definitely passable. It's nothing that's gonna, like, shatter the earth, but I'm gonna tweak that and fix that, get that accurate, and then we're gonna showcase everything we got today on Action Figure Surgery. Alright guys, so here's everything that we covered on today's Action Figure Surgery, man. Pretty successful day, I would say. Sorry, trying to adjust the camera a little bit here, but starting out first, we do have Dominic Mysterio here in the middle. I think the boots turned out fine, you know? Uh, I do have to ask tone the, the Cody Rhodes logos off of there, of course, but I like the dumb. I think it turned out alright. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below, but I, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's, it's tight enough for the boots, swivel and whatnot. It's not going to pop off or anything, so legs are still a bit wobbly. I think that's just due to heat and whatnot, but there's the Dom. I'm pretty proud of the Dom. I think it turned out all right. I'm, I'm happy with it. Kind of struggles to stand at certain points, but I think that over time when this heat wears off, I think it's going to be all right. Over here, we do have our AJ Styles looking like a damn Dudley boy or something, but I like this hoodie on this figure. You know, the Elite 104 is a beautiful looking figure, and then added together with the kick pads that we did the last episode, and then adding the camo hoodie, I think that is money right there, so I'm excited for the, for the AJ Styles. Really looking forward to new AJ Styles figures as well with this new torso, so we'll see what comes of that down in the line. We also have our Finn Balor here with the custom shirt from PWR Lucha and the custom head sculpt, and I think this makes this figure even more tolerable, you know. Still think he's too short and whatnot, but I think the Judgment Day Finn right here with the J's and everything looks good. I may add the Jordan decals later. I just hate these shoes, so it just kind of puts me off to ever customize it in that way because I hate the shoe mold so much, so we'll just see about that, but I really like the Finn Balor. Look at that right there, man. This is how this figure probably should have came, but just needs to be taller. He's just way too short, man. Speaking of tall, look at this CM Punk figure right here, man. Why is he so damn tall? Or is this fan just too short, man? If you compare it to his uh, All-Stars figure, I guess he is a little bit taller than that, but I feel like the Supreme figure or just the figures in general are just too big. Like, I guess these two pretty much are the same height, but this fix up here with the long hair on the Punk does look really good. I'm happy for it. I just feel like he's so damn massive, man. Look at this. He's gonna tower over this Finn Balor. So I just... I I don't know, man. That really bothers me about the figure, but if you put all three of these up next to each other, how bad is it? It's it's still, I mean, he's still significantly taller. It reminds me a lot of a Jax figure, but they do look good. It does look like a good promo CM Punk in the skinny jeans and the shirt. I do like that, you know, compared to the black pants. The, the jeans here is a cool look. And then this one over here does look good as well, having the Supreme Edition, which is a great figure overall. I just think he's too tall, but I do like this head sculpt on this body. I think that looks badass. I like the camo with the long hair, so that looks pretty really good right right there like that. Have that figure. Here's the CM Punk All-Stars, of course, chest tattoo and whatnot. Not accurate. It's got chest hair instead, but it still looks good. You know, again, getting a shirt on there will make this look like Pipe Bomb Punk, and I'm pretty sure Mattel's gonna give us a Pipe Bomb Punk Ultimate Edition. See, there's gonna be like 80 punks coming out, so Greatest Hits, Legends. I guess he could be in the Legends line. I guess, I'm for sure he could be in the Legends line. Maybe, I don't know. But Greatest Hits, Ultimate Editions, Main Elite line, Basics, Battle Packs. They're gonna pump that guy out like it's going out of style, but there's the Finn as well. We also have our Jeff Hardy right here, which looks pretty damn good. Pretty, probably the most underrated thing we did here today. I like the coloration of the black armbands on the shirt. Pretty cool. Of course, doesn't have his body paint on there, which would really throw it over the top, but it's still a nice looking Jeff Hardy figure. We do have the Elite 102 Theory, which looks damn good, man. This is a great head sculpt. This is probably one of the better head sculpts we saw all year. Just makes this figure so much better, man, because this figure can pose around great. It has a fantastic formula, a fantastic gear, everything like that. This is a really good figure, and the reason he wasn't... If this head sculpt had come on this body initially, this guy would have been easily in the top 25 WWE elites in the year. Probably should have been an honorable mention, just I hated the head sculpt so much. And then we do have Johnny Gargano over here, which looks really good. Now, all of my Johnny Garganos, of course, do have pretty much the same head sculpt across the board, but I don't know. I just like this head sculpt as far as favoritism to Johnny Gargano, in my opinion, so I did roll with that. But no Johnny Gargano syndrome or anything, so that's a clear winner sign right there. But there is everything. We're going to line them all up right here before we get out of here. But I think today was a pretty successful day of surgery, so sort of some outside-the-box stuff going on right there, which is cool. We do have our our Supreme Punk right there, which is nice. God, dude, the scaling. If my figures don't scale together, it really bothers the hell out of me. So you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our WWE Action Figure Surgery episode. Man, thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you fellas for your continued support this year. Can't wait for next year.
next year going to be a very successful year as well. Cannot wait for it, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on our surgery here today. But I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. I'll see you guys in the next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.